Okay. I'm going to uh, attempt another video of the uh, pour paintings or flow paintings, as you might call them. Uh, this time I'm going to use neon colors, which are pretty cool. Very bright. Should stand out very well. It's purple, yellow, orange, green. I mixed a little black and uh, the base white that you have to use in the medium. For this one, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm using. I am not endorsed by any of these products. I use a uh, 3-in-1 silicon all-temp oil, Rain-X water repellent, Elmer Blue Oil. That's what I'm using. A little water and the paints themselves. That's basically all it is. You don't have to do anything else. Just mix them all, small amounts of each. It takes a little trial and error to, uh, to get to the point to where you know exactly how much you're going to need for each canvas. This is like a, I don't know the dimensions of it, 14. Let's see what the dimensions are. 7 by 14. 7 by 14. Okay. Got my gloves on. Might as well use them. Otherwise the paint seeps into your pores and they can't be good for anything. PBR. Alright, as before, get your base of white. Like I said before, it doesn't have to be perfect coverage. Because you got all kinds of other paints going to go on top of it. This is just to get you sort of a base. So that the other ones can, I guess maybe that's where they get the turn from. The other ones can flow across the canvas. Might have to research that. Maybe that's where they came up with it. But, okay, on this one, we're going to, if you always want to put your darkest colors towards the outside, the way I do it, so that the uh, brighter ones can remain on the canvas and pull towards the center, the outside can be the darker areas, like when you're, you're drawing or painting something and you want the lighter stuff to, to come to the forefront forefront and the darkers to give you the, the background and everything. So, purple. I'm going to uh, just pour in a couple of strips. I'll go with the green next. You can go on top of it. It's not going to hurt anything. Now I go the, more towards the center. I like to keep my yellow and the orange more towards the center. And add a little bit of black. Like that. See how bright and colorful that is? Get your little swirl pattern going. When you start tilting it to the sides, you get all the colors that you want. Look at that. That looks good right there. Oh, okay. Colors come together well. Black in the center. Giving it a little depth. And, like I did in the other video, I'm going to get my little heat wrap. And you see the way it looks now. I'm going to add a little heat to it and watch the change. PBR. This is the cool part about when you're learning to do this because it takes trial and error 
you just keep uh, trying this trying that different things you can use dish soap dish dish soap excuse me you can use alcohol you can use anything to cause the reaction this is going to be this is going to really show you the difference that a little heat can the effect that it can have once you apply it to the painting all right you ready and boom look at that I mean, really. Look at the effect that you get. Just a few simple ingredients and the colors that will come out. This is why I'm addicted to this. Every painting is different. No two are the same. And it keeps, as I say, it keeps evolving. It will change. This is not the final product. It will keep changing. And you can, you can alter it by changing, you know, tilting it here and there. Use letting gravity actually have one side slightly higher than the other and it will make it flow to one side or the other. You can adjust it however you want to. Play with it. Look at, it. Look at that. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for letting me entertain you. Bye-bye.